So we've talked about sequences in general, now we need to talk about arithmetic sequences. This is an arithmetic sequence. That's an arithmetic sequence. Now, for an arithmetic sequence to be an arithmetic sequence, we just need one key idea. A list of numbers with a common difference. Okay, so the important thing when it comes to arithmetic sequences is this common difference idea. Let's look at this arithmetic sequence. Plus three, plus three plus three, plus three. You can continue the arithmetic sequence. You know what the next term is. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You can figure that out. Here is another arithmetic sequence. Again, it's an arithmetic sequence because it has a common difference. Plus four, plus four, plus four, plus four. Okay, that's an arithmetic sequence. Let's look at two more that might be surprising. This is an arithmetic sequence because it has a common difference. Negative eight, negative six, negative four, negative two, each time, plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two, goes on, and it goes on forever and ever, goes on forever and ever. Let's look at another one that this one might surprise you. 13, nine, five, one is an arithmetic sequence because it has a common difference between each term. Now in this case, the common difference is negative four. We're subtracting four each time. That's interesting because the next term is going to be negative three and we end up in the negatives, negative four, negative four. And last one before we move on to something a little bit different, this is an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of 0 0.2 each time. Now this is fantastic because that, this means that arithmetic sequences are really easy to create. If I give you just two pieces of information, you can create an arithmetic sequence as, as long as you like. So let me give you two pieces of information. So here's my two pieces of information. This says term one is equal to four and the common difference, D for difference, is two. What is that arithmetic sequence gonna look like? Well, we start with term one, four, and then the common difference is two. So we add two to that, six. And then the next one is two, add two to that, two to that, two to that. And we can go as, as far as we like, just with two tiny pieces of information, we've defined the arithmetic sequence and we can write the arithmetic sequence. Another example here, if we were given this information, we'd go, oh, I know that arithmetic sequence. First term is 12. The next term is five less than that, which is seven. The next term is five less than that which is two, the next term is five less than that, which is negative three. Let me show you one more example, I'm gonna do it a different way. Term one equals negative 12, and the common difference is 23. I'd hate to do this in my head, but luckily I have my calculator here, so let's go for it. Negative 12 is my first term, and then to come up with my second term, let's write it out, negative 12 equals and then what am I doing each time? I'm adding 23. So to the answer, I'm adding 23. So the next term is 11. And then I just press equals again. 34. And one more time. 57. And we could do that as many times as we wanted to. Calculator. Handy. Summing up, an arithmetic sequence is a list of numbers with a common difference, and if you know the first term and the common difference, you can write out the sequence as many terms as you want to.